Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Thank God for joy. Thank God for laughter. I'm just excited about being here at Be You Say Bye. To anything that hinders you from your dreams, your visions, and your goals, hinder you from getting into the Word of God, hindering you from really getting an understanding, because the Bible says, in all your getting, get understanding. Amen. And I'm just grateful for the panel. I'm grateful for Be You Say Bye. I'm grateful for UPTV Channel 6. I am just grateful, and I don't take it for granted Mm. that I'm still here. It's because of his plan and purpose. It's because God loves me so much, hallelujah, that he has us here together bringing forth the word, hallelujah, and telling you where he brought us from and mm. then turn around and what he's given us as we keep his commandments and, and, and learn about him and, and just stand on the word of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I, this is my brother Daryl, my uh, daughter Stephanie, and we're just glad to be here. Amen. Amen. And, and I was reading in Psalms 108, Psalms 108, 109, 110, 111, 110. and 112. Which one? 110. 110. Uh -huh. Where did I get the 110? I don't know, I don't know where that comes from, but it's in there somewhere. <laughs> Let me see what that say, okay? All right, 110. <laughs> oh, the Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand. Woo, that's good, amen. But he said here in one, 108, <clears throat> my heart is steadfast. I am happy. He says, I was saying, I, see I put my name on I. Donna, I might not be able to get in the choir, but I can sing in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> Curtains are closed. The door is shut. <laughs> Can't, no nobody is on. <laughs> <laughs> Can't nobody hear me but God. Thank you, Jesus. And then he says, make music with all my soul. Mm. All on the inside of me. You know, and this is the reason why I'm happy who I am and who I serve. It's not about other people. It's about me and my relationship with God because everybody has their own ways of thinking, their own ways of doing things, their own way of saying things, their, their own way of think, uh, thinking. And, and he said, but it's not about my thoughts. It's about his thoughts. Amen. It's about his ways. And I, I, I'm working on changing all of my being to line up with the Word of God. And I'm going to tell you, all of you that are listening, I do a lot of repenting because I never get it right sometimes. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say never. Well, I, 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 let me say, I don't know anybody that got it right every mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, and uh, so it's nothing to be uh, ashamed of. It's right. nothing to be sad of. Mm -hmm. One of the things that make you human and a child of God is that you get back up. Mm -hmm. right. That's and, it. And, 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 and I, I was telling a friend of mine, I said, if you feel you did the right thing, okay. don't repent from it. Or repent and because be if you re, if you're repenting from everything because somebody said you did it wrong, mm. oh, you be then you're being life. controlled. You don't know. I mean, you should have a heart to tell you when mm -hmm. you're wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. You should know where you're at. So just, mm. you don't need nobody to tell you that you did wrong until you feel, as a Christian, I'm doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you just repenting and not really, not really repenting. It's not heartfelt. You know, it's not a heartfelt. You're doing it because you, somebody told you this is what you're supposed mm -hmm. to do, mm -hmm. but you're not feeling like you did mm -hmm. anything wrong. So you have to get, you know, it's a, it's a mm -hmm. growth area. You know, you, you mm -hmm. crawl, you walk, you learn. And you continue to learn. K clothes. Mm -hmm. you know. Amen. I like what yeah. you just said. Case. Right. And remember that you know my thing is, <clears throat> we ask we we ask for forgiveness. Yeah. And asking for my I'm I'm learning this. Asking for forgiveness and then repenting is mm -hmm. two different things. Yes. yes. But a lot of people don't understand that. Come and on. I was one of them because <laughs> I was like, Lord, forgive me, forgive me. Okay, you forgave me. Tomorrow but tomorrow, thank you. Yeah. But when I say I repent, 
That means that to it's, turn. It's over. From your you wicked know, ways. You know, niece, you know, like when I came home, I uh, was doing many a thing. When I gave it to the Lord and said, this is it, that's repenting. Exactly. When I said, forgive me, Lord, that means I'm still on that old, crazy, yep. earthly thing. But, that, but I'm trying. Even that. Look at that. You know, Look yeah, at that. Yeah. Because a lot of us, yes, it is because a lot of us just ask for forgiveness because we know it's wrong, but we're right. not ready to give it up. Right. And, and that's, that's being honest. That's being that's truthful. That's being totally honest. Right. And even here in John... I, John, 1 and 8, it said, if we say that we have no sin, okay. we deceive Ooh. ourselves. Come on now. And Break the truth ain't even in us. <laughs> <Break it down. laughs> we have fooled ourselves. Right. Break, come on. I was, I, this was me. Yeah. And I still have to really grab a hold of that thing of knowing. I don't want to deceive myself. And, and maybe I'm not ready to drop that. You know, and in and, and, and due time, I will. And mm -hmm. if I continue I have, to know what this says, it gets less and less. And I'm not going to make this thing hard. I'm not going to go on no you should have some joy. You should have some joy in, <clears throat> in your victory over the evil one. Right. Oh. Okay? Yeah. You should have joy yeah. every time you win a battle mm -hmm. with the evil one. You will know it, and because the <laughs> evil one will quit trying you on Known certain that. things. Yeah, but long as he know, <laughs> long as he knows that you still have a weak spot, right? He's coming. Mm -hmm. He's guaranteed to come. Yeah. Ooh. And yeah. so, I have found that people talk about God give you blessings, and He does. But understand me, when He give you a blessing for something that you've done. It's not because you try to do it. It's because <laughs> you did do it. Yeah. <laughs> See, and then he gives you a blessing for that. One of the blessings he gives you is for you to know who you are and yep. that you can yeah. you know put the devil up under your feet. Ooh. Yeah. So now you really don't have an excuse. <laughs> you know, there's no running back out into the world because... The Bible says a man that turned it to the to to the world mm -hmm. after coming in out of the, mm -hmm. out of all that muck and, and grime is like a dog turning to his vomit. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, you sit up all night praying for Jesus <coughs> to do something, then he do something, then soon as you soon as you get a day rest, you ready to go back. See, oh, and so you have to realize when you ask for Jesus' help. Mm -hmm. expect he's going to help you he's going to help you now i'm not going to tell you that it's a a, a, a beautiful thing that he, <laughs> w what he's going to send you through i'm not going to tell you that right mm -hmm. but the end the so. end of that road is for gold silver yeah knowledge wisdom yeah. oh my god yes. mm -mm -mm. you will never be the same yeah. you can never be the same once you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Right. His life. He is life and truth. And if people get to the point where they believe God instead of man and stop listening to, you know, I mean, we listen to man, but in, when you're in the word of God, you know whether or not man is bringing back the word or not. See, a lot of times people want to bring back their, their opinion, which amounts to nothing. Amounts to nothing. And see... What I, I, I feel like I have learned is we all are controlled by a spirit. It doesn't necessarily mean you're controlled by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay? And, and so, therefore, you may, you may not feel like you're doing anything wrong, but ask yourself when you go tell people stuff, what motives are you telling them? Why you know why you you telling people bad things that you seen? Yeah. Are you trying to help them, oh. or are you trying to hurt them? Right. You yeah. have to ask what spirit is leading you. Right. And a lot of people <laughs> spread rumors and gossip, mm -hmm. and they really think they're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't never remember uh, God say tell everything. <laughs> I, I don't. I, 
I never, I never seen it in the Bible. I'm sorry. I, and Most somebody, of the time, you know, it's for us. You know, yeah. it, it it's for make it person. personal. So yeah. I ain't got no business coming over your house telling you nothing about your marriage, your life. Right. <laughs> Look in the mirror. You know. Oh, Look in the yes. mirror. Get yours now. Once I get mine right, and I know I truly know Jesus. And I might come, and encourage but I'm coming you. with a heart of Jesus. Right, which is so different. That's so different. That is so different. Yeah. If you got a friend and, and when you leave from what you told them, they the breaking up, call, asking for divorces, and, and you brought chaos, and mm -hmm. Jesus don't bring chaos. Right. He do not bring chaos. Right. Confusion. He don't bring confusion. Read your Bible. He says he has nothing to do with that. Right? Amen. So when you bring confusion to uh, someone's home, don't, don't say amen on the back of it. Mm. Don't say amen on the back of it because Jesus don't do that. He's, Jesus is about what he said, not about what Tony said, <laughs> not about what Jim said, not amen. about what Susie said. The, he ain't into that gossip. He so, say, she you, say. You know, stop it. Yeah. Just stop it. Mind your own business. <laughs> okay. Just stop it. Hey, hallelujah. Glory <laughs> you know, to just God. mind your own but business. But this is the truth. The truth. Yeah, and saying. he says, we in the world, but not of the world. There you and go. And these things are going to happen, mm. but we have to tell you that Jesus died for you and that he loves you. And if you're not getting what God is all about from, from other people, then you need to walk away. You need to back up because uh, Satan only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. <clears throat> See, S Satan ain't after his own people. No. He's after God's people. Right. And so all these trials and tribulations and tests are for you to know that you are in the kingdom. What, as we heard the word of God says, uh, we serve a king and we're in the kingdom and Satan want to take all this love he, that God Satan, gave us Satan. away. Satan's he, ideal mm, is to keep you miserable and off that's track. That's right. He never really wants you to know that's right. what God's God plan has is for, for you. I remember a so. time when I was in church and all I heard was sin, 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 sin. I said, it got to be something Else. other than just yeah. sin. sin. And I did half the time I'm wondering, how did you I see me? This. When, you know, you say you saw, you know, you talk about sin in the, in the taverns and this, we, then that means you were there. See, you know, I want to <laughs> say this because it's on my heart right now. I don't know where it came from. But That's all right. Oh, I want to do a shout out, clap my hand, raise my hand for Miss Ruby Sanders. The one woman I know mm -hmm. have never judged anybody that I know mm -hmm. when I was in the world. Mm -hmm. doing everything that could be done. I'm not going to run the list. You run the list. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, you run the list. Call the courthouse. They'll tell you. <laughs> uh, she never, I have never seen her judge anybody. She treats me the same wow. today as she did 20 years ago. Come on now. Wow. A woman of God. Yes. Wow. Yeah. A woman of God. She, and I just want the world to know. There are people Yes. Who minds their own business? Right. Who knows how to treat you like a human being with never throwing your mess in your face? You know? Well, and that's you know a beautiful what? thing. Yes. And yeah, if you priceless. take the time out to look at you, you, you just said in the mirror, look in the mirror. And, and here's a scripture here. It's uh, <laughs> Second Peter's uh, 3 and 18. Grow in grace. He said, my grace is sufficient. Mm. If you grow in grace, look in the mirror and work on you. Constantly. 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 Don't give up. Yeah, it says, yeah, yeah, and get ooh. the knowledge of God. Get his knowledge. Get his he wisdom. He says, and ask for wisdom. And once you ask <coughs> for wisdom, then yeah. ask for understanding. You can be real smart and not know, and, and, and ain't got no kind of sense. Mm -hmm. I, I've been there. <laughs> I can sit up and talk to the best of them. Didn't bit more know what I was talking about, <laughs> you know, because the wisdom was 
yeah. everywhere. Right. It sounded good. <laughs> right. It sounded good. You know, I, I have, I have, I have convinced people to do the dumbest thing. <laughs> you know, because I had wisdom enough to fool somebody, right. and I was working for Satan. Mm -hmm. Today, I work for my Lord. Amen. Somebody that cares for me, loves Amen. me, laid down their life for me, Oof. and then mm. stop mm. it, okay. stop it. <laughs> we free, we free from bondage. Stop it. Mm -mm -mm. We are free. We are free. We are powerful. free. The fellows out there that I kicked it with, we do have a home. We have a home mm -hmm. in Jesus. Yes. And we don't have to keep doing, we yeah. don't have a, a keep doing what we feel like we have to when we wake up sick True. and need to go take our last dollar to you know who. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. That's something. You know, whoever told you you had to do that and you can't, you can't fight, suffer for Jesus' sake. That's mm. what the Bible says, mm. suffer. That, that means lay in bed three days and get, and, 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 and get right. Mm. Get delivered. Get right, mm. you know, mm. uh, because Satan wants you to feel like a loser. Come on. And I got to say, as long as you keep doing what he tells you to do, you are. then you are a loser because you are king. But being a king ain't enough. Act like one. Mm. Act like one. Suffer for your Lord's namesake. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And, I, and I guarantee you, the first battle you win, the first battle you win straight out, then you're going you gonna to get thirsty. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, I can, do, okay. I can do practically oh. anything I want to yes. do. Yes. But I'm only going to do what Jesus wants me to do. Mm -hmm. See? And, and you'll feel like that every day. That, mm -hmm. that other stuff that you take to have courage and, 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 and for your problem to leave, mm -hmm. that's cool. But Jesus got something cooler. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. He got something cooler. And, and you can wake up with a dollar. Y'all know I got a car. Brand new. <laughs> Oh yeah. Now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those are the blessings. I'm talking to my and I ain't bragging. I'm talking to my friends out there that still fight. I don't know. I'm going to come and I'm going to tell mm -hmm. you if you if you ask he will give. Mm. He will give. And, and it's time for people now to know that you you already won. You are, it's already yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Amen. You know, you, you know already, you're you fighting a know. battle that you don't you even have to fight. Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? You know, no. uh, <clears throat> you don't have to fight anymore. All you have to do is S-T-O-P. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn I'm telling you, 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 you think that what you're doing that's out there in the world is fun, but you've never experienced fun until you get into the Word of God. To the point, listen to this, you don't have to look over your head, over your yeah, shoulder no, no more. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I was riding with some friends the other day because I still, God has given me the strength to as associate. Okay. Okay. And one of them said, they're the police. I said, what? He said, they're the police. What you telling me? <laughs> what you telling me for? Right. I don't do nothing. But I understood because yeah. that's the life he's living, yeah. and that's the life I used to live. I used to do that too. Right now, the head of police, duck. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, duck. duck. <laughs> oh, you know, turn. Man, look, it's it's it, it's so it's so um, peaceful <laughs> to have your rent paid. It's so peaceful to know who you are in Christ. And any fight that comes your way, you're mm. ready for it. You, okay, I was just because you said it's so peaceful to have your rent paid. Yeah. It's so peaceful that I don't have to go out there to get it paid. Oh, Wait. I like that. I like that's that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm talking I, about. I mean, <clears throat> it's a, it's, I was in the world before I got saved. I don't have to look over my shoulder no more. I don't have to worry anymore. And, and that's because of the love of Christ. Yep. I see you have a scripture there. No, I'm just going, I'm listening to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of wisdom. Yeah. It's a lot of, because we come 
from afar? Man, for, the, for my friends who know me, I'm Daryl Neeson. Mm -hmm. I have friends out there that's still in the world. I got 10 people that's still in the world. Mm -hmm. And it ain't, they ain't done nothing that I ain't done. Amen. I think I was the worst of the group. <laughs> I yeah, really do. I think you were on. You really <laughs> I think I was the worst of the group. Put sprinkles on it. And then I had to ask myself, <laughs> God gave me the quality to talk to people. He was, Caleb. And, 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 and they do what I say from a kid. Yeah. Ooh, right. From a kid. Yes. Yes. I misused what God gave me. Mm. I asked him forgive me. Yes. I'm not going to ever tell you something wrong. You may not like what I got to tell you, but that's on you and God. Don't hit me. Oh. Don't hit me. You're going to jail. <laughs> okay. Now, that's it, huh? Oh, yeah, you're going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. But for my friends who know me, y'all know I come straight up and straight down. Right. Hey, I'm living a life of pure joy. Woo! Miracle. I'm just telling you. And, and, and it's and yours, too. <coughs> that's what it's I was going to say. Too. Yes, you it know? is. And it's you know what, it's so simple because I, I was reading in Psalms 108 and it said in verse 6, it says, help us, but you could take that us and put me. Yeah. Help me. Help, just call on God, help yeah. me. Call, first of all, call on him and say, Lord, please come into my life. But it all says right. here, and I always put me, I always put Donna. That's good. And I say, yeah. help me, help me with your right hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. For those you love may be delivered. Yeah. He loves us all. Don't you ever think that Christ don't love you? Yes, he does. Yeah. He loves you so much that he said he stretched his arms on the cross at Calvary for you. He, he died on Calvary. And he everything you're going through, it's already done. We keep going well, back you to know, that fight. Excuse me, but, I don't mean no harm and I love you. He didn't die on Calvary. He gave his spirit up. There is a, there's no, because that's been an argument for centuries. <clears throat> you can't kill God. It's at Calvary. You know, he gave his spirit up at Calvary. I, and the reason why I said that is somebody said, <laughs> man, I just, I, I, I don't understand how they killed Jesus. <laughs> I said, it didn't. What are you talking about? He said, he did. And I said, no, he gave his spirit up. He gave up, up the spirit. He it gave his finished. spirit up. He would still be hanging on that cross now had he not done that. Mm. Or, he, you know, he had a lot of options open to him. He could have called on his angels. Right. Okay? It was a lot of things, but he had a job to do. And he said, it's finished. And if it's finished, what do I supposed to do? Mm. That's the question. Not what Jesus is supposed to do. He ain't done what he's going to do. Right. What do I supposed to do? One of the things I'm supposed to do is try to walk the way he asks me to, mm -hmm. to worship him. Have some kind of appreciation, wouldn't you say? Right. Because I, look around. I don't, think no, I don't think you know nobody to give up their life for you the way he did. Mm -hmm. If you really knew, if you really knew what happened. Mm -hmm. Um, he said in Joshua 1 and 8, he yeah. said, meditate day and night and acknowledge him. Well, you know, I see people crying about babies dying. I see people crying <clears throat> about women getting raped. I see people crying. You know, if they really knew what Jesus went through, uh, well, I know what I said. I wouldn't have went through it. I, that's what I said. I wouldn't have went through it. And, and, and I wouldn't have. And I still, I'm not, no, 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 I couldn't do it. Only he could do it. <sighs> so thank God for Jesus. Because only he could do it. So, I mean, today, ask yourself, what do you want? Now, if you want to be in uh, confusion, Mm. always scared, then you might be in the right place. But if you want some peace, turn your life over to Christ. Peace. The real peace. Mm -hmm. No matter what they come to you with, you say, yo, thanks for telling me. <laughs> God got it. 
I say that because I know I had cancer the whole bit. Mm -hmm. mm. So I think I think we need you now. <laughs> Did he say that? <laughs> Well, praise the Lord anyhow, okay, <laughs> amen. Hey, that's a testimony. No. He has the praises of uh, the testimony. He, he's rejoicing and loving that we are here to be able to testify what God has done for us. And what I do now is I give him all. Oh. I, no, I acknowledge him in everything that's good, everything that's good. I acknowledge him and I praise him and I worship him. And, <clears throat> and we're here as witnesses for God. To let him know how good he is, how wonderful, magnificent he—he's God all by himself. We all don't by have himself. to. We don't have to. We don't have to do anything. He's just God. Amen. I gave me the easiest job in the world. Okay. Trust to, in him. That was, <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who finds great delight in his commands." You know, one twelve. Psalms trust one twelve. And and and, 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 and and truly, truly, people. And I have to say this real quick. <clears throat> If you want to get there, you got to start somewhere. Amen. So don't feel like this is an inborn thing mm -hmm. that you should know. You don't. Satan didn't trick you so bad, you got to start from scratch. So it starts from scratch. You know being on drugs, unhappy, mm -hmm. spending your check in one day, just all the things that you're doing. I know that you're tired of it because I was tired of it a year <laughs> after I was doing it. But I tr Satan tricked me and I dug a hole so deep I couldn't get out of it. God told me to quit digging. <laughs> Relax. Let me handle this. And I said, it's yours. Amen. If you can, Amen. you handle it. Amen. That just reminded me real quickly before we go that, you know, you can fall in a ditch, you know, and when, but when you fall in the ditch and, and, and the dirt is coming down, just keep stepping on top of yeah, the dirt. Yeah, step on the dirt. Pat it. Step, no. it's coming down. Pat it, because eventually it's going to make it to the top, and you got a way of escape. And he going to make, Amen. he going to, he, I'm telling. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, and you, you don't know. You just don't know. You just don't know. I'm telling you, he gave us a way of escape, and we're excited about that. Amen. Amen. And I'm just grateful for Be You Say Bye, and I thank God for Be You Say Bye, that we can come and bring you the word, because it says, praise the Lord, all you nations. Exhort him, all you people. Exhort him. And, and that's all you have to do is raise your hands up, praise him, and, and magnify him. He's just grinning. He's just, pray, he's just having a good time that you can say, God, without you, I'm nothing. Amen? Amen. Without you. So we thank you for uh, Be You Say Bye. We thank you for you. <clears throat> and, and all you have to do is just call on Jesus, and he's got an answer to everything you're going to. Amen? God bless Amen. you. This is Donna Jones. Daryl and Stephanie, and we're just grateful for God waking us up this morning to talk to you. Give us Amen. a call at 217-766-8839 or go to YouTube, UPTV, Donna Jones or Daryl Neither or Stephanie Clemens. We're on YouTube. So we're <laughs> just grateful that this is going out into the atmosphere. God bless you.